with the NDA alliance set to form the government. Rumors are swirling that Telugu Desam Party's or TDP's chief Chandra Babu Naidu might demand special category status for Andhra Pradesh in return for his support. But what exactly does special category status mean for a state? Special category status is granted to regions that have been historically disadvantaged compared to the rest of the country. The National Development Council or NDC, part of the former Planning Commission, decided this based on various parameters. Now, Jammu and Kashmir was the first state to receive special category status with 10 more states added over the years. Uttarakhand was the last to receive the status in 2010. Now, TDP is seeking the status to attract more investment and revive Andhra Pradesh's economy after losing its capital Hyderabad to Telangana in 2014. The Congress government in power during the bifurcation and the Bharatiya Janata Party BJP during its 2014 election campaign promised the status. Then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh assured in the Rajya Sabha that Andhra Pradesh would receive the status for five years to stabilize its economy. Now this promise has been the basis for Andhra Pradesh's claim. The BJP then in opposition also promised to extend the status for five more years if it came to power. However, the 14th Finance Commission changed the scenario. It removed the distinction between general and special category states considering state backwardness in fund allocation. The special status was restricted to the three hill states, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and the northeast states. Instead, a revenue deficit grant was provided for states like Andhra Pradesh. Now, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley stated that Centre would honour commitments made to Andhra Pradesh in 2014, but granting special category status was restricted by the 14th Finance Commission. Jaitley assured that Andhra Pradesh would receive monetary benefits equivalent to special status, covering 90% of central scheme cost, with the state contributing 10%. He also noted that 4,000 crore rupees had been granted to bridge Andhra's revenue deficit, leaving only 138 crore rupees spending. After weeks of political drama, the TDP decided to quit the NDA in 2018 following the centre's refusal to grant special category status to Andhra Pradesh. So what can we expect this time? Will TDP demand special category status for Andhra Pradesh? Will the Narendra Modi-led BJP agree? Stay tuned to Business Standard to find out.